Future millionaires, Wagwan, welcome back to the channel. My name is Demetrius Fearman. It's a pleasure having you guys here tuning in for this video. So one of the main questions that I always get asked is, how do I invest in US stocks? And in previous videos, you'd hear me mention that we should use TD Ameritrade. But unfortunately, they have blacklisted us, so they no longer take new applicants for their trading accounts. But never fear, I have found a new brokerage and they're called Interactive Brokers. So if you are a Jamaican and you really want to invest in some US stocks, then I think you should stay tuned and watch the rest of this video. Alright, so before we get started, you're going to need a few things. You're going to need an internet connection, you're going to need a mobile device, either a laptop or a phone, and then you're going to need your KYC documents, and this is just your know your customer, and they use this to prove your identification so that if you commit any form of fraud, they know who to track. So KYC is going to include your driver's license, your national ID, or passport and it is recommended that you take a picture of these forms of identification and maybe save them on your PC or your phone as a PDF that way whenever you're doing any applications that ask for KYC you can just upload them so that whenever you're doing applications such as these it's easier to access another thing that you're going to need to complete this application is your proof of address and they need this just to show that yo you are really this person and you really live at that country any bill that has your name if you don't have a bill try to get a bank statement okay so i think that's all that we are going to need so pop out the laptops pop out the phones let's start this application process and by the way to make it easier to sign up for interactive brokers i have the link down below in my bio so you can just click that so we can get the process started so the first step in this process is that we're going to go on google and we're going to enter interactive brokers and the first thing that we're going to do is Select open account in the top right hand section of the page. Then it's going to give us a drop down and the first thing that we're going to select is start the application process. And as customer, we're going to fill out the create your username and password section. So they're going to ask for an email address, a username, password. You're going to confirm that password and just select the country in which you reside. I always recommend to use a new email address to sign up for brokerages because it's some form of security for me to know that I have an email address just for this specific activity. After you filled out this section, then just click create account. After which they're going to send an email to the email address that you provided to confirm that this email address belongs to you. So you can either use your phone to review that email or you can just open another tab on your computer. This email is going to be used to verify yourself by entering your interactive broker's username and password that you just created. So make sure to use a notepad or some form of save your password key so that you can remember your username and password. Okay, now that we've verified that this email address is ours and we've verified that we've opened an interactive broker's account, we're going to select the account type. And on the screen, we're provided with three account types. The first one is going to be individual by which you are a single account owned by a single account holder. Then we're going to have joint, which is a single account owned by two account holders. Then we're going to have retirement account, which is individual retirement account available to individual US tax residents only. So since we are in Jamaica, we can only toggle between the two, which is individual and joint. But most of us, because this account is ours, we're going to be using the individual account type. So then we'll just select individual account. Immediately, it's going to bring us down to the legal residence section. And when we see the drop down that says state, don't be scared. Don't think that you have to put any state in America. When you click on it, you will see the parishes that are in Jamaica. So select your respective parish in which you live or the parish that is on your proof of address. Make sure it matches up. Make sure that most of your information matches up because it makes the application process seamless. Now we are at the contact information section or the about you page. And this is going to be a long page of personal information. But for the first part, which says contact information, 
you're just going to fill out whatever is true about you. Just make sure that the information matches whatever is on your identification and whatever is on your proof of address. This section is going to ask for things such as salutation. So salutation is going to be whether you're Mr. Mrs. or whatever you claim you want to be. Then you're going to have the first name, the middle name, the last name. You're going to have your address. You're going to have the city, the providence and state, the zip code. And as mentioned, remember that the state is going to come up as your parish. The zip code, you can just put five zeros. You don't have to stress about that. And then you're going to state if it's a different mailing address from you where you live. You're going to continue by entering your mobile phone number. You're going to add personal information such as date of birth, number of dependents, meaning if you have any children or anybody that you are in care of, tax residency, meaning the country in which you live. Then you're going to have your tax identification number, which we call our TRN. Then your identification, you're going to select your country of issuance for that identification most of us are going to use our driver's license or passport make sure that we select that in the document type section and for the document number if we have the driver's license we'll put the tr in if we have the passport we'll put the passport number for the employment section you choose what best suits you and for most of us when it comes to source of wealth we're just going to put income from employment base currency we're going to put the united states dollar we don't have the jamaican dollar here the jmd so we're just going to use the usd and for this section it's very important to have your pen or paper or just screenshot the page because we're going to do security questions and answers so make sure that you remember these information because if you lose your account they're going to ask you this information and if you don't have it then all that money go down the drain so make sure you have a record of this information then after you filled out all of that section they're going to send you a mobile confirmation so that means they're going to send a text to your phone and you just enter the code that they sent to you on the screen now we are at the configure your trading account section and this is where it will get a little tricky and it's dependent on your goals but for the normal investor who just wants somewhere to store their money and be properly diversified in u.s stocks then you can just follow the method that I will use. Firstly, we're going to have the account type. And margin is when you use this institution to help assist you in your trades. They basically loan you money. We don't want that. We're just going to use cash. Now we're going to go to the income and net worth section. And since everything is quoted in USD, we're just going to try and get it as close as possible to what we actually make in Jamaica. Now we're going to go on to the investment objectives. And this is just what you hope to fulfill by opening this account. Then they provide you with growth, hedging, preservation of capital and income generation, and profits from active trading and speculation. I'm going to select growth, but if your goals are what you see here, then you may select those. But then it may cause the application process to be a little bit different and a little bit longer, but it's nothing that you won't be able to figure it out. Trading experiences and permissions. This is the section that you're going to select what you are able to do with this account. However, you're not limited to what they give you right now. You can choose more in the future, but for somebody who's just starting out, these are what I am going to select. They start you off by giving you options. And options trading is basically buying or selling positions on future predictions. But if you want me to go over options trading, even though I am not an options trader, you can just leave it down in the comment section telling me if you want to find out what are options and how do you actually trade options. But for the sake of having this option to us in this account, we're just going to select the drop down menus here. We're just going to select the minimum, which is one year of trading experience. We don't want to select zero because then we won't have the option and they will limit us. For trades per year, we're just going to select the minimum, which is one to 10. And for the knowledge section, we're just going to select limited knowledge. Now we're going to see a little section that says permissions to trade and we're going to have a add button there, just press it. And this allows us to add the country in which we want to trade these options. And since we want to trade in the US market, we're just going to select the United States. 
Now for the stock section, which is where most of us are interested in. So for experience level, you can just select whatever you are comfortable with. But I'm going to put one year of experience since this is a new brokerage and a new interface that I'm going to be using. I'm going to select the same one to 10 trades per year. Since I am not going to do a bunch of trading, but mostly just buy and holding. And for my knowledge in this section, I'm going to select good knowledge, a little bit higher than limited. <laughs> And for the permissions to trade section, you can see that they already gave you two options. They gave you the United States and they also gave you United States trade in fractions. And this is where you can buy basically minuscule decimal points of stocks. You don't have to buy a full share, you can buy fractions as they say, of a share. You can choose also to add any other country you want, either Asian Pacific, which is Australia, Hong Kong, Japan, you can do almost all of Europe, you can do all of North America, if you want to add Canada to it or Mexico, the choice is yours. I'm just okay with what I have so far. And you can also trade Forex on this, but that's not my forte, so I'll just leave it as an option for me to use, but it's not something I'll be dabbling in anytime soon. Now we're going to go to the regulatory information, which it says, is any account holder, director, or otherwise someone similar policy? maker or authority or 10% shareholder of any publicly traded company. If this does not apply to you, you just click no. They're going to ask you about their account add-ons and this is their stock yield enhancement program, which is basically you loaning the stocks that you currently own for them to use on their platform. We don't want to enroll in this because most of us don't really understand what this is. And if we don't understand what something is, we don't partake in it. Good. Now they're going to ask you where have you heard about interactive traders from or who have you heard it from? You can just select the recommendation and after you select recommendation, you can just click that next choose one section and just select the interactive brokers referral program because yeah, it can support your boy, you know? Now we're just going to press continue and hopefully everything is okay. Now it may have prompted you with this attention section and it's just for you to read this section and review what you might have not selected. And this is mostly in the section that asks how much you make, what are your liquid assets and what are your net assets. They just don't want you to be the bare minimum. So select something higher until you can get this banner to say, complete. So the first thing that they're saying here is to be approved to trade stocks, your liquid net worth must be at least 5,000 US dollars. It says to be approved to trade options, your investment objectives must include one of the following profits from active trading and speculation. So we have that to correct. To be approved to trade options, your liquid net worth must be 20,000 and your annual net income must be at least 40,000 or your liquid net worth must be at least 100,000. So they're asking that your income should be 40,000 or more, and then your liquid assets should be 20,000. So we can just select that. They're not going to look deep into your pay slips. Just select these to get your account open. And then to be approved to trade options, I know this would happen, just select good knowledge. You can learn on your way. Also, to be approved to trade options, you can just select the one to 10 trades per year, at least select 10 or more. And then select at least two years if you plan to trade options. If you don't plan to trade options and just stocks, then you should be good to go. You don't have to do all this. But for the option traders, you know, just work around so that you can get the account open. So now I'm just going to move the annual net income from less than 40,000 to 40,000 to 44,000. The net worth, I'm just going to put it at 20 to 49,000. And then liquid net worth, I'm just going to have it at the same 20 to 49,000. Oh, you know what? For safe measures, let me just push up that net worth in USD to 50,000. And for me to get the options trading, let me just put profits from active trading and speculation. Years of trading experience for the options, let me put two. Then let me put 11 to 25 trades per year. And then let me change that limited knowledge to good knowledge. And by doing all of that, we are good for that section. And then we go on to the other part, which is confirm your tax residence. This section is just going to be pre-filled based on the information that you put in prior. So your driver's license information, your name, it's just going to put in all the information 
So this section is going to ask for the treaty benefits qualification. So it says, I certify that I am a resident of the country below within the meaning of the income tax treaty between the United States and that of that country. So after you read that, just make sure that the country that you are applying from, which is Jamaica, is in the list because this is a treaty that is set up by the United States and the Jamaica when it comes to taxes. Now for the certification section, just read through this make sure that all your information is correct and then just sign and consent and move on to the next section. Now we're at the review and sign agreement section. This is where we look over all information, review that everything matches up to what we have entered, take pictures, take notes, make sure that you have this information and make sure that this is correct. Whenever it is correct, you just scroll on to the bottom of the page and sign it with the digital signature that they approve you to sign, which is mostly your first name, your middle initial and your last name. So then they will send off your application and set up your profile. If they need more information, they will be saying, sorry, we need more information to set up your account. And then you just click the continue application section and you just give them information that they require. And if that happens, it will lead you to the application section in which they say, you're almost there. There are one or more pending items that require your attention. Once you fund your account application and complete these items, we typically take a few days to approve an application. I already have an account with them. After I sent off the application, they took one hour to say, your profile is ready, your application is good to go. You just need to add some money to your account and that's it. So we're just going to skip the fund your account section for now because you don't need to do this as yet for your account to be ready. We already confirmed our mobile phone number. Now it's going to be submit a document to verify your residential address. And this is where the KYC comes into play. And it even gives you the option of saying bank statement, government issued document, or letter, evidence of property, utility bill. I'm going to select a utility bill. So after you send off your proof of address, they're going to be reviewing it. So in the meantime, you can submit a photo ID. And they're going to give you four options. Passport, national ID, driver's license, or alien ID. We're just going to select from the three, either national ID, driver's license, or a passport. I'm going to do driver's license. And for good measure, most of these sites always ask for the front and back. So I'm going to send them both the front and back of the driver's license. And then in the comment section, you just give them a brief overview of what you are sending. This is Demetrius Fearman, and these are photos of my driver's license, the front and back. Now we just sit and wait because they're saying we've submitted your application for approval your application is pending so more likely it will come through in like an hour but the worst case scenario, or maybe a day or two so don't worry don't fret you will get your application approval in your email saying that your account is good to go and the only thing that is left to do is to fund your account but first you would have to know how to fund your account you can either do it by a wire or you can use an app that I will be using called Wise. If you guys want me to do a video on the funding process, you can just leave a comment down below in the comment section. You can either use wire transfer and I use JMMB because I don't have to go to the bank to do a wire. I can just sign up on Moneyline or you can use the app that I will be using called Wise. So hopefully this video helps you guys in setting up your interactive brokers account and hopefully many of you will join me on the journey of buying some US stocks or buying some US dividend stocks to get this ball even going bigger. But if you're a person who just wants to invest in the Jamaica Stock Exchange, then it's easy. Just watch my channel, watch my stock market for beginners playlist by just subscribing to the channel and going to the playlist section you'll have all the information you need right there. Subscribe. I love you if you do. <laughs> have a good day, guys.